to the next. So what is this? And uh, let me give it a like. Uh, Tony Robbins uh, it's a and a 13 year old suicidal girl. Okay. That is some rough shit. At 13. Uh. Shit. Life isn't worth living. I took the pills about two months ago, and most of it has to do with my parents. Like, I don't feel like they understand me. I just told them that I was having these thoughts and I just wanted someone to talk to, like a counselor or something. And they just kind of like pushed it aside. Like they didn't believe me. They just thought I wanted attention. But I actually took a lot of pills, you know, and then I told my parents, look, you need to give me to the hospital like right now because if you don't, I am going to die. And I wanted to live, but in the back of my mind, I, that, there was still that little voice that was like, you don't want to live, you don't want to live. She feels her parents don't understand her. And for a woman, which she's a young girl, but there's a woman inside. Men, this is a lesson for you, for your daughters, as well as the woman in your life. There's. Can you turn up the volume in some way? Turn off? Up. Ah, uh, up. Uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't on the love. Nothing more important besides being loved than for a woman to Take feel it understood. back to it. So she doesn't feel understood by her parents. What? She feels her parents don't understand her. And for a woman, which she's a young girl, but there's a woman inside. Men, this is a lesson for you, for your daughters, as well as the woman in your life. There's nothing more important besides being loved than for a woman to feel understood. So she doesn't feel understood by her parents. What's happening between your mom and dad that you want to distract them from? They do have some problems with their marriage. Mm. So wait, so that's the first thing she thinks of, that mm. they have a problem. You're afraid they're going to divorce? I have thought that, yeah. What if they're not happy with their marriage and they choose to change that? My mom knows that they have problems and she's trying to tell my dad. And my dad is an extremely hard person at times and he just does not want to hear it. And sometimes I just feel um, torn because my mom will try and pull me against my dad and my dad tries and pulls me against my mom. He never used to be like that. When they first met, he was the most caring. But wait, wait, I what? No, I wanted to say that... Um... You know, I hate when parents do that, try to um, take their child, uh, put them against the other one, like your daddy is so uh, Yeah, I know about up. that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know it firsthand. Yeah. Um, I grew up with my, you know, <clears throat> my mom saying my dad, <clears throat> who was back in Iran, <clears throat> that he didn't like us and shit <clears throat> like that, He, you know, and that made me hate him. Because I'm a fucking yeah. kid, I don't know. Okay. I'm like, why the fuck doesn't my dad love me? Mm -hmm. You know? Fuck him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally agree. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Because no matter what you got against your uh, partner or husband or wife or whatever, it should not affect, like, the kid. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, no. But I guess, I guess it's stupidity. Mm -hmm. Right? Ego also. Ego, but and ego, and, and, ego and stupidity as well. I think it's fair. I think it's fair. And here's why. Because when you have a child, there's nothing more on this earth that you will love more. Nothing more. Even your partner, your parents, everyone is aside. Your child is the one thing that you will love the most. And when you are in argument with the one you married, the one that you have your child with, you are afraid that the child is going to pick the other one's side. And that is why you trying to tell that your child that that other person is bad. It, uh, I will always love you. I'm the best. That is the bad parent. Yeah. And <laughs> trying to uh, re uh, to ensure uh, that the, your child is going to stay with you and not that one. Yeah. But both parents will love their child, you know, in almost all the cases. I'm sure there is exception, but will love their child uh, equally as much. Yeah. <clears throat> But if, if they knew how important it is for the kid to, you know, not get involved they should with that. Knew. They should know because they've been kids themselves. They should know. Yeah, but, but they apparently they're not aware how that do what that does to kids. You know, it permanently puts a scar. Yeah. They forgot. Maybe they didn't even knew. No, no about they it. They know. That's not true. No, I don't mean it in that way, but you know, the, the the simple things that you want as a child, you know. Yeah, I know, but 
but they don't take in consideration what kind of a, a scar it does if they uh, make so one parent is favored over the other. Anyways, yeah. I'm torn because my mom will try and pull me against my dad, and my dad tries and pulls me against my mom. He never used to be like that. When they first met, he was the most caring, wonderful, loving person she'd ever met. They've been married for 17 years. So. Wow. How many of those years were they happy? Six, maybe. So half your life they were happy, and the other half they're not. Well, I wasn't born, because I've asked my mom that. I was like, did he start acting this way after I was born? She's like, no, it was about a year or two before you were born. What do you think happened a year before you were born? I have no clue. What matters most in the end? My family staying together. If their daughter's suicidal, they better stick together, huh? Genius. <laughs> There's one thing you don't understand, that you don't want to hear, but you need to, and I know you're willing to, because if you look in my eyes, you know I have a love for you that doesn't come from something you're giving me. Your mom and dad may need to be apart. I don't know. They may be miserable because they have completely different approaches to what they want for life. And they may feel trapped because they love you. As long as you're attached to that specific result, then you're no longer committed to the happiness of the people involved. What matters most is they stay together, but even if they're miserable, that they should stay out of fear and guilt till you all grow up. So they should have a decade of their life miserable. That way you won't kill yourself. And then your sisters, and you can learn that a relationship is about giving up everything and being unhappy. And then you guys can all do the same thing. Ooh, that, that one went in deep, didn't it? Ooh. Wow. No, I was just thinking about something I hadn't thought about before. Um, my mom told me something. Before they were married, uh, she got pregnant. And my dad really, really, really wanted to have kids, and my mom didn't, so they had an abortion. And I think he blames her for that. I think she blames herself for that, too. You just came up with the answer. To Wait, that what? Before. What did she say? Who? And I was dad, in a thought. Really, really, really wanted to have kids. So the dad wanted, okay, mm -hmm. and she wanted, she didn't want. No. And my dad really, really, really wanted to have kids, and my mom didn't, so they had an abortion. And I think he blames her for that. I think she blames herself for that, too. You just came up with the answer to what happened before you were born. Give her a hand for that. That's beautiful. We have a choice in our lives to give things a meaning. The meanings we give control our entire lives. Big problems start with little thoughts. And great achievements start with little thoughts. So you want your mom to be happy and you want your mom to feel loved. Mm -hmm. So what's the truth? Can you really control all this? No. <laughs> Will you ever attempt to take your life again under any circumstance? No matter how crazy or scary it is. No. Why not? Because I don't know that I'm not responsible for my parents' problems and I can't put all their blame on myself. your sister like before she went through your eyes and what do you see today she was a mess before she went to the seminar it really upset that she would try to kill herself i mean she's my sister i didn't really know what to think mm -hmm. must have been a tough time yeah a little different today <laughs> yeah. after she came back it just she came alive <laughs> well when she left, she was just all dark. She didn't want to be with anybody else. She just wasn't around much, you know. She just difficult. Mm. But when she came back, it's like, what happened to my sister? She was just live and just everywhere. And she was 
<laughs> Bright. Wow. And what's she like now? Happy. So basically, she was blaming herself for, for what her parents. I think most children do. I think you did too. In a way. B without knowing it. Blaming myself. Maybe. Maybe. But... Because for, for a child, the world is so small. And when you see that world uh, full of conflict around you and and... And you cannot do anything about it directly. You don't know how to solve it. You think you're still in the center of it because it's your perception. It's your point of view. And then I think that if the problem cannot be solved in a you know a way you know it can be solved, the child is gonna you know like fuck it. I'm gonna kill myself. Not kill yourself. I think that is when uh, children start to go wrong in life. So here she un understood. Okay. It's not uh, anything I can control, and it's not my fault. It is this way. And he basically solved uh, her problem mm -hmm. with information. Yeah, by telling her that this is not your responsibility. Yeah, because she was thinking this is my responsibility. Yeah. They need help. I must fix this or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh. When your life is in a whirlwind, you want others in that whirlwind so you're not alone. I believe loneliness is one of the greatest fears we have. Absolutely, Absolutely. Echoes. And I also think loneliness is one of the uh, most uh, harmful thing to a human being. Yeah, one because of... that is the biggest fear everywhere. Like death. Is you think you're, you're gonna, gonna leave alone. everybody alone? Yeah. Uh, you, <laughs> you're gonna leave everyone. No, you're gonna leave you're everybody uh, behind. Behind, and you're gonna be alone in the dark. Yes, that's why we fear it. Mm -hmm. Or some people think you end up in nothingness, which I don't I ever believe anymore because it's not possible. And what what are you if you end up in nothingness alone? Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly, Eccles. Hey, what's up, Lupio? Hello, Lupio. Yeah. Uh, so true. So true. <clears throat> uh, but what I like with um, uh, Tony is that he he has those simple things he say, the simple solution. And that proves to me that even if human being seems complicated, we are not. And that is not a bad thing. That is a good thing. We are not so complicated. We are driven by fear and everyone wants love. So yeah, that so was that was a good yeah, one. Yeah, so let's let's start from there. When you have conflict, when you're uh, having problems or whatever, you know, start from there. What is my fear? And you know, who was it who said? What was it now? Uh, everybody that is miserable is lacking love, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. In some way, mm -hmm. lacking love or or feeling alone, which could be. Mm -hmm. Lacking love. You yeah, know. being alone is a lack uh -huh. of love, of course. Of course. <laughs> and, and you know, in that, it's so simple. Goes back to the dualistic thing again. There's only that thing fear and love, fear and love, fear and love. Everything we're doing in this fucking place is based on those things, in a way. Yeah, and that's what I mean. We human beings want to overcomplicate problems, relationships, whatever. But as long as we, we are. Uh, overcomplicating things all the time, we are gonna make the problems bigger and bigger and bigger. Simplify them, go back. What drives this? Yeah. Also, another thing regarding life and death, you know, I've, I've said this to you before. <laughs> I'm sure you have You've said a lot of things to me. Yeah, I can't keep track. Repeatedly. <laughs> but it's really simple. Uh, we came here alone, you know, and we leave alone you know what i mean when we came here to this reality as far as we know we didn't know nobody you know what i mean yeah like, oh, what is it? Who are you? <laughs> mama okay you know and then you get used to mama 
and papa and brother and sister and friend and this and that. So it's like you're putting things in your backpack, mm. you know, before you even have. But then when you go, you have to leave the backpack. Yeah. <laughs> so you stuffed it with stuff. Excuse me. Uh, you forgot something. You like. What? What? <laughs> you have the biggest backpack. What? What did I forget? Give it to me. Oh. <laughs> and then you give the big backpack back. Give me your clothes too. What? Everything. Give it back. Your body. Give it to me too. I thought that was mine. It was only lending, man. Your whole life was uh, lending. Leasing. Leasing. Uh, your whole life was leasing. Okay. Next up, what do we got? Now we got...